first off the starting box, an endearing young fellow by the name of Sonic the Hedgehog. Your task? You have two minutes to collect 150 rings or more. Hey, what's up guys? So today I've got some really exciting things to talk about and primarily it's about the exciting news that I read just the other day and shared out on the Gazlos Games Facebook page but it is the return of Channel 4's fantastic retro gaming series, The Games Master. So here we have confirmed UK Channel 4 is planning to reboot Games Master. And they've told potential advertising partners that that's the case. It aired between 92 to 98, hosted by Dominic Diamond with the late Sir Patrick Moore, the legend as the iconic Games Master himself. So we'll get five celebrities competing across a number of different shows. Um, interesting, so who's going to be the Games Master? We don't know. There's an advert there where Patrick Stewart was in some of the advertisement on Channel 4's website. But we, don't, we just don't know who the Games Master is going to be at this point. Now this is a series which was really big in the 90s and it was really, really fun to watch. I kind of grew up watching this series. It showed all the current, what we now call retro games, that we used to play back then at the time. And it would have some really fun gaming challenges for kids and adults alike of the era to take on and to try to beat what was set by the Games Master. So, in honour of the return of Games Master, Gaz Loves Games is going to take on a Games Master Challenge. Now, this was from Series 1, the second episode that aired from the initial series, and it's for Sonic 1. So, let's uh, hear the challenge from the Games Master himself. Greetings. I'd like to take this opportunity to say how delighted I am to see you again. If you enjoyed last week's challenge, I think you'll find tonight's three little jaunts an absolute hoot. First off the starting box, an endearing young fellow by the name of Sonic the Hedgehog. Your task? You have two minutes to collect 150 rings, or more, on the second level of an area known as the Green Hill Zone. These rings are dotted around a tropical landscape plagued with all manners of hostile creatures and booby traps, every one of them intent on thwarting young Sonic's progress. And beware, the slightest collision will cause you to lose all your rings, and the challenge will be over. So, two minutes, 150 rings or more. Happy hunting. What a gaming legend. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can Gaz take on this 150, 160 ring challenge? Let's give that a go. Let's have it. We've got to collect as many rings as possible. We've only got two minutes. So I'm going to try and get some of these ones that I know of here at the top. I know there's some in an area down the bottom. Let's just pop down here. That's 20 rings right there and a shield. That's going to give us a bit of protection for if we get hit by anything. Um, just a bit of a challenge timing the roll to get back out of the section. It's probably easier to hit it from the other side. I mean, I'm losing a lot of time here, but let's just see. I'm going to try and get as many rings as I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 150 because I just haven't got that much dedication to uh, keep playing it over and over. But let's just head along here because I know um, one of the things I want to do is get on top of the big loop. And there's a spring down here, which is kind of what I always use to get up there. I know you can do it with the running sneakers. Oh, let's try not to lose the shield. Um, but that's actually quite a hard jump to make. Okay, the shield's gone. This is what I want. I want to not get up the top. There we go. You can, you can end up missing the spring completely. But that's a good number of rings hidden up there. And if you miss those, it's probably a game changer. Um, let's try to pick up some of the ones back here. And then we're going to need to get the ones through the loop. Let's just watch out for any enemies because I don't want to lose it all very quickly. Okay, I should have carried on there to keep my momentum. Uh, I've got like 40 seconds left with like 72 rings. Come on, let's get these. Oh, I just don't I just don't see how I'm gonna do this. I'm finding it very hard. Um, there must be some other areas, whether it's up top or further down, but I don't know how to get to. If I kind of miss one here, it's not really worth my time going back for because I can just grab further like bunches up ahead. 89 rings, come on, I know there's another 10 block I think up here. Let's get that and that spring. Okay, cool. So I've made a hundred. Um, I've only got like 10 seconds left. Come on, let's just see how many I can get. I'm not going to manage. I'm not going to manage the Games Master title. Five seconds. 
Uh, running out of time. Uh, there we go. Okay, 123 rings, and I finished bang on two minutes. Wow. So I found that a lot, lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was like, I know Sonic, I can play Sonic, absolutely no problem at all. But I tell you, you normally play Sonic getting from one area of the level to the goal at the end. And you don't really tend to think too much about the multi-layers within that and where different rings, collectibles and power-ups might be. So it kind of brought a new dimension to the game, needing to kind of explore to try to find those areas that either I didn't know existed or actually kind of forgot that they were completely there. So we didn't quite manage to get the 150. I'll admit I gave it a few goes just to explore and to try to not get hit by an enemy to uh, lose on my rings. But it just goes to show how actually epic the kid was that played and got 160 rings, he made it look so, so, so easy. But he did that on like his first one only attempt challenge go, so clearly knew what he was doing. I think that's one of the things with the show, it kind of highlights where people have really practiced, played, and got a real level of skill for the game. Whereas for me, I like a lot of different games, but I didn't really ever tend to just focus in on one, so I kind of never really got really good at any one game. I still need to go through and actually collect all the emeralds in any one Sonic game. I never actually managed to be Super Sonic without applying one of the cartridge cheats. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm really, really looking forward to this new series. Who is gonna be the actual games master? That is a really big topic of conversation. I'm really hyped for it. If you guys like this video, let me know down in the comments because I'm sure then I'll want to cover more material as new news and as the shows actually come out. If you're new to the channel guys, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that bell and um, you'll then be connected with Gasoff's Games for more future news, information, retro gameplays and all things good in gaming. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Yes mate. Yes, mate.